All right, my great smelling dudes, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Attack of the Fragrance Clones. For all of the ones who have been here since the beginning, you know that I've done an entire series of this where it's kind of like kind of Star Wars themed, whatever, uh, just more the intro. But today I have been obsessively trying to find this fragrance for the last month and a half. I've been talking about it on all of my lives because I like it better than the original. It is a clone of Mancera's Red Tobacco. This is Paris Corners Amir Wild and Tobacco. So I do have the Red Tobacco right here. Um, so I sprayed the uh, Wild and Tobacco on this and Red Tobacco on this just to remind myself to get a little bit of a comparison going on here. Before we get into the comparison and the review, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you like my content, consider following me on Instagram and TikTok. So the red tobacco is that saffron, oud, tobacco, heavy, deep, um, dense type fragrance. Um, a lot of people actually say that there's a very harsh opening to the red tobacco. While I don't fully get that harshness, I do understand what they're talking about. Um, also, red tobacco, my wife does not like because it's a little bit of a heavier, more masculine tobacco fragrance that does have sweetness and oud and stuff like that in it. While it's not fecal or animalic, you can tell there is that density, that heaviness, and my wife doesn't like it. When I first got this in, I got a decant from Eddie, one of my subscribers, uh, Amir's Wild and Tobacco. And I sprayed it on it and my wife immediately liked it. And I immediately noticed that there is a very, uh, there's a vast similarity and a vast difference between the two of these. And it's what makes you want to like this fragrance over the red tobacco. If you're somebody who likes, uh, like me or like my wife, that doesn't like the heavier, denser ones. Uh, well, technically I like red tobacco, but she just doesn't. So I'd rather wear something that she does like. Um, and so it's quite interesting because when I got this, I did have red tobacco, the decant. I was planning on buying the full bottle, but I was holding off again because my wife didn't like, but then I got that and I was just like, yeah, I need to have that. And it's almost impossible to find. If you, if it's sold out on fragrance buy, it's literally nowhere. And if you can find it, it's like $70, but you're like asking yourself, why would I pay $70 for something that's a clone of a fragrance that you can buy on or a fragrance for 60 bucks? Well, on Fragrance Buy, it's 22, 23 bucks. So that's the kicker. That's where you really do like it. And again, it's a very good smelling clone. It does what red tobacco does. It's just, it does it a little bit different. Um, and so let me give you some of the main notes here in the wild and tobacco. There are six notes that I pull mainly from this and they are cinnamon, oud, saffron, tobacco, vanilla, and pear. When you first spray this on, you do get a, a lot of that saffron. So you get that sweetness, you get that semi-floral, but mostly it's a very nice uh, sweet and spiciness. You mix that together with that pear and a lot of tobacco. But the thing is, is that tobacco in this, it comes off like a sweet and moist tobacco. Um, it's not heavy, it's not like a pipe tobacco. It just, it really comes off like a sweet and moist tobacco. Um, yes, it's a slight bit more synthetic than the red tobacco, but Manceras aren't really necessarily known for their, um, their natural quality. They're a very synthetic niche brand, in my opinion, as far as the ones that I have tried. Um, with that said, the Manceras Wild and Tobacco is right on par with it. It's just a little bit below. And when you, again, you get that pear coming in, you get that sweetness, you get that saffron, you get that sweet and spiciness mixed with that tobacco. Um, literally the fragrance doesn't change very much as you work your way into the mid, into the base. And then you get a little bit of a woodiness coming in and some vanilla. And it's just a nice, sweet tobacco fragrance. Through and through, it's, it's a little bit lighter than the red tobacco. It's not as heavy, it's not as dense. And that is what I like more about it. To me, it has more of a wearability factor than the red tobacco. Um, the, to, the red tobacco does lean a little bit heavier on the saffron and that spiciness and that oud, the woods. This one leans heavier on that tobacco, the vanilla, and the sweetness from the pear and the semi-fruitiness, the warmth. That is what the, uh, so if you like the more lighter, kind of brighter, sweet fragrances that revolve around more of the creamy sweetness, not the dark, dense 
um, heavy sweetness, the woodiness, and if you are one of those people that from the red tobacco, you get that really harsh opening. I have told a bunch of people to buy this just based on my decant, and every one of them came back and said, you're correct. That is one that you definitely need to pick up if you are somebody who likes red tobacco, but you want, you're kind of on the fence about it. I feel like this um, Paris Corner Wild and Tobacco is something that would change your mind if you like those sweeter tobacco scents. You want something that's lighter, not as heavy, doesn't have that scratchy opening that some people get, um, and it's not heavy as heavy on the woods. Again, this is a more lateral fragrance. It's not going to change as you get much from the opening to the dry down, outside of a little bit of a woodiness and vanilla. Um, you can't sense much else out there. The saffron does dissipate, that spiciness dissipates, but they're never really heavy. They're more nuanced. Uh, this fragrance just revolves mostly around that tobacco, that pear, that vanilla, and a little bit of woods. That is what this fragrance really does revolve around. Um, that sweetness is in there again, but it's not as heavy. Um, with the performance of this though, I was actually quite surprised because with red tobacco, I get eight to 10 hours easy. Uh, with this one, I get seven to eight hours and it actually on clothes is going to last me a day. It's gonna stay on my clothes until the next day. And right now, the time, the time frame that you're gonna wear red tobacco or Paris Corners Wild and Tobacco is going to be, um, they're pretty much daytime, nighttime, anytime during the fall and winter. And during that time, you're wearing what? Long sleeves. And so you're most of the time going to be spraying probably your pulse points here and then on clothes. So it will stay on your skin and on your clothes for at least seven hours up to the next day, depending on if you're spray spraying it on clothes. Uh, as far as the performance, the projection, I mean, uh, the sillage isn't as large as the red tobacco as you would expect because it's not as dense or heavy. Um, but the red tobacco is only an above average type fragrance anyway. Uh, maybe above average two beast mode, it's kind of in the middle there. This one revolves around above average for the first two hours. Then it calms down and it's a softer, more intimate scent after those two hours, but it never truly dials down. It really does get you a nice personal bubble, which I think is great. I think Paris Corners Amir Wild and Tobacco is, in my opinion, not the blend, just the overall fragrance for me and for my wife is a better choice per price and per milliliter than the red tobacco. And I think that you should pick it up if you're like me and you don't want those heavy emboldened type fragrances that you get with the red tobacco, or you have that headachey vibe or that scratchy opening that some people get with it. I think this is a perfect uh, replacement for it because again, it still has that DNA. It's still about 75 to 80% close to red tobacco. It's just leaning heavier on certain parts of the fragrance while leaving out the other parts. And I think it does a really good job with what it is. It's my one of my favorite, if not my favorite clone. It's up there with Detour Noir. I think that you should try it again. It's 20 to $25 on Fragrance Buy. I just bought this a week ago, so definitely go check it out. Let me know if you have tried it. Again, that's Wild and Tobacco. You won't go wrong with it if you like tobacco fragrances. It is a great clone. And again, just let me know in the comments if you've tried it and if you liked it. I'll be back with another video. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.